we have to admit that all of us have enjoyed this at some part in our life be it in a disco or be it on the street for a function for a procession it feels so much fun isn't it but we may end up like this the next day these are the stories of our patients who presented to us with loss of vision in their eye following exposure to the laser light we have a case series of around 10 patients who presented to us immediately after this festive season so we are sharing with you three such representative cases as you could see on the fundus photo oct and the intraoperative view that the damage is exactly located at the fovea what we have to do now the patient was posted for vitrectomy surgery you can see the core vitrectomy being done and you can notice again the hemorrhage located at the fovea triamcinolon is used for pvd induction careful pvd induction is done and vitrectomy completed bbg dye is used to stain the ilm excess dye is removed with the help of cutter the vitreous sheet which is present over the macula removed carefully you can see the sticky nature of the vitreous in a young patient but we could remove the vitreous sheet carefully and successfully flat lens is used for the ilm peeling pinch and peel technique is used to start the ilm peel flaps are lifted and ilm peeling is gradually done in a circular fashion you can notice the blood which is stuck to the inner aspect of the ilm later on the reflux function of the cutter is used to wash the collected blood and to our relief healthy fovea was noted underneath various color channels of the 3d visualization system are helpful in identifying the ilm edges so this is the end view and the patient eye was filled with air in the post op fundus picture we can see complete recovery and this patient gained post op 6 by 6 partial visual acuity at one week post op coming to case 2 similar patient who presented to us a day after his exposure to the laser lights similar fundus finding involving the fovea sub ilm bleed was confirmed on the oct pvd was induced bbg was used to stain the ilm in a similar fashion this time intraoperative oct was used again to confirm during the surgery by pinch and peel technique ilm peeling was done again you can notice the location of the blood being in the sub ilm space it being adherent to the po uh, posterior aspect of the ilm in a circular fashion ilm peeling completed again the reflux function was used to wash the excessive blood and underneath luckily no macular hole was noted as confirmed by the intraoperative oct again the patient was left air filled post operatively this patient recovered well with 69 vision coming to the third case of the series this patient presented to us 10 days after the injury and we can already see that the blood is getting dehemoglobinized so in a similar manner we injected triamcinolon pvd was induced bbg dye was used you can see how clearly the 3d visualization provides us with the view to perform the ilm peeling the monochrome color channel which is available gives us with great contrast to see the ilm edge more confidently and more clearly ilm peeling is gradually completed all along the sub ilm bleed you 
you can notice the altered nature of the blood and again it is washed with the reflux the point to notice is in all our patients in our case series none of them had significant injury to the underlying fovea and all of them recovered with a great vision this is the post op ocd and patient gained 66 vision let's hear what the patient has to say sir santosh inte dj me rone ge hogide dj me rone hopadaga dj lights iruta laser lights adan kannig biddu bleeding aitu adarinda iga nage kanni problem agitu kann kaanustilla agitu matte operation maadkonde ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿಂದ ಈಗ ನನಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಣ್ಣು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಿದೆ ಸೊ ದಯವಿಟ